Another typical test that you're going to be seeing your quality control or quality assurance technicians performing is a slump. It's going to help us know what the water cement, approximate water cement ratio is in this concrete as compared to what the water cement ratio is recommended by the concrete material supplier. A material supplier is going to have a mixed design with a certain water cement ratio that has a certain slump range that they're willing to guarantee their concrete's going to perform at. They're going to specify, for example, a range of a five plus or minus one inches, which is going to tell you that your slump needs to be a four to a six inch slump. This is the test that's going to tell us what that slump is. We'll go ahead and perform that right now. For our slump, we're going to want to make sure that we're going to have a rigid, firm, non-absorptant surface, free of vibration. This is our slump cone. It's a 12 inch cone. All slumps are based off of a range of 0 to 12 inches. We're going to be filling this in three equal lifts by volume. Our first lift is going to be approximately 2 and 5 eighths inches thick. We're going to rod that the full depth 25 times. We're going to go into our second lift. We're going to fill our mold one third more by volume, which is about six and one eighths inches. And we're going to rod that again 25 times. And we're going to penetrate our previous layer by approximately one inch. We have our third lift that we're going to do. And we're going to heap this one over the top of our mold. We're going to rod this 25 times, penetrate into the previous layer, approximately one inch. If at any time the material falls below the top of the mold, you're able to add more material and continue your rotting. We're going to strike off our excess material. Remove any excess from the base. And we're going to lift this mold with five, five seconds plus or minus two seconds without twisting or any lateral movement. And we're going to be able to determine our slump. We're going to flip over our cone and take a measurement. We're going to be measuring from the center of the displaced slump. If it's moved over, we're going to follow that movement of the original center and measure right over where that original center is. It's important to note that if a slump is too high and too wet to be accommodated on one of these plates that the manufacturer makes, that you'll need to find a surface area that's, big, that's large enough to contain that entire slump. A measure from the original displaced center. We're looking at a two and a half inch slump on this one. It's important that as you observe any technicians performing this test that you see that they don't place their cone into their slump, that they don't vibrate it. All of that's gonna cause it to have a lower slump and kind of indicate artificially that there's more moisture in there, more water in there than otherwise should be. But that's your basic slump in a nutshell. Thank you.